Hello guys! Today I'm gonna show you how to create this cool and smooth looking camera shakes for your first person game. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create walking shakes, running shakes and also jumping and landing camera shakes. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open content drawer. Now I already have this tutorial folder, first person, blueprints and open our BP first person character. So now we will have to start coding and the first thing we are going to code is sprint system. So take this character movement from components window and from it create set max walk speed node. Uh, now type left shift and create this left shift event. Now we will have to check our player speed in character movement. So type max walk speed and as you can see my walking speed is 300 so if you are pressing left shift we are running so we are going to type 600 and if you are not pressing we are walking so it's 300 now we will have to create boolean variable press plus in my blueprint window and type running now get this running set the running and we will press yes whenever we are running and when we are not running, we press no. So this is pretty easy, pretty simple sprinting system. You can make your own sprinting system, but you must create this running variable because it will determine if our camera shake will be walking or running. So the next thing we're going to code is walking and running camera shakes. Create a new custom event and type start walk run timer. Now from it create set timer by event, set looping and type 0.01 second. From this event type custom and add custom event. Type walk run shakes. From it create a branch node and in the condition we will have to take this character movement. From it get velocity, scroll down, take this node, from this velocity create vector length. And from this node type greater and drop the condition in the branch from the true create another branch and drop our running variable inside of this now type get player controller and from return value create client start camera shake like so and connect the false inside of this copy paste these two nodes and connect the true inside of this so what this is going to do it will check our player speed every 0.01 second and if our speed is more than zero we will ask another question if we are running so if you are not running we will play a walk shake and if we are running we are going to play run shake and by the way, currently we didn't create the shakes for these nodes, so after we will create the shakes, we will set them right here. Alright, so the next thing we're going to code is jumping shake. So get back here and copy paste this thing. Now instead of walk, type jump. And before we connect these two things, we will have to create a branch node and type is falling. Uh, why we're making this? Because when we press jump, it will actually jump, the player will jump only once, but the shake can play even 100 times if we will spam the spacebar button. So we are making sure that we will play the shake only once per one jump. All right, so the last thing we're going to code is this thing. So it went on landed, we just have to copy and paste again this and type land shake. So now I have some things happening right here, but you will have to type event on landed node and connect land shake in it. All right, so I guess this is pretty sure everything we have to code today. So now let's create the camera shakes and then put them right here. So now you can press compile and save and close the character. Now open content drawer once again and now we will start creating shakes. So create a blueprint class and in all classes type legacy camera shake create one and type bp walk shake now open it and in details 
we will have to change some values. So I will type my own values right here so you can just copy paste. But before that, make sure that you have this single instance right here. So what they are even going to do. So the page is actually up and down, the yo is left and right, and the roll it's like a rainbow. So we are going to change the amplitude, it's actually how much we will have of the shake and frequency, how often it will play in our 0 0.25 seconds. So for the amplitude I will put 0 0.7, for the frequency 12, for the amplitude yo 0 0.08 and frequency once again 12. And for roll actually the same value 0 0.08 and 12. So now you can compile and save and close. It. So now we will have just to copy and paste this walk shake and call it run shake. Open it, press this open full blueprint and once again we will have to change some values. So in the amplitude of pitch I'm going to use 1, in frequency 18, for the yo I'm going to put 0.5 and 9. And finally for the roll I am going to use 0.2 and 9 once again. So now compile and close again. Now we can copy this run and call it jump. Open it, press open full blueprint. Here we are going to put 07. That is because we are jumping something around this time. For the amplitude I will be using 045 and for the frequency 4. For the yo 0.3 and for the frequency 4. And roll will be 0 and 0. Open content row once again, copy and instead of jump, one last shake, it is going to be land shake. And by the way, before I show you the landing values, we are going to go back to the BP first person character and now set up all of these shakes. So for the walk, we are going to type walk, for the run, BP run, for the jump, BP jump, and for the land, BP land. So now open land shake once again. So the landing isn't 0.7 anymore, it's only 0.3 and the blend out time is 0.25. For the pitch amplitude I'm going to use 0.3 and for the frequency 10. Yo will be 0, 0 and roll 0.3 and 10. So now compile and save. Oh, the shakes doesn't play at all, one second. Yeah, so the issue was in the code. As you can see, we have this start walk run timer, but we actually didn't start it anywhere. So we will have to create this event begin play. From it, create start timer, start walk run timer, compile and save this, close this, and now you're ready to go. But wait, before you actually close the video, check this out. This is footsteps I created in my previous tutorial. So. Check out the video right now. 